Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Bernie Heed, back to watch from Stargate SG-1. This is Season 5, Episode 2, Title Threshold. We're getting this thing moving, guys. Yo, looks like the looks like Apophis might be dead, man. It looks like it's an end of the system, Lords, like the big ones. We saw Kronos go away. Hero is gone, I think. Yeah, Hero is gone, too. And then now Apophis. So, not much left of the Guawold regime. And I feel like we're dealing with a brand... Not a brand new... We saw them last season, but, like, a new enemy. The Replicators. The Replicators are fucking scary. Uh, I wonder how we're gonna defeat this baddie, but I don't know. Somehow Team SG knows how to pull pull its weight, and they know how to fucking succeed in the most dire of incidents and, and moments. So let's just get this thing moving. Thank you again for being here. I really do appreciate and love all of you guys. Again, I I am a broken record with this shit, but the Gate fam, the people that watch this shit with me, like true Stargate fans are some of the best fans out there, and I love, appreciate, and adore all of you guys, for real. Even the Patreon fam, like, you guys are just, thank you, for real. And a big shout out to the homie Daniels. Uh, he is the one that has gotten me all these copies, and if it wasn't for him, I'd be losing my shit watching the, the lame other ones. That, you know, the 4x3, is it 4 by Yeah, dude, 16 by 9 is where it's at when it comes to this show. It's just nice, it's crystal clear, and it's... It's a masterpiece. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press play, and uh, let's get her going. You? I am well again. Are you sure he's well again? So I hear. I once again pledge to you my allegiance, and ask your forgiveness for succumbing to the will of Apophis. Well, you did. Yes, he's not back. He wouldn't say pleasure or allegiance. They're friends. It was through the power. Uh, he's not no. back. Just for fun. I hope to one day restore your trust in me, O'Neill. I wouldn't trust it. And to return to your service, General Hammond. Nah, that's way too easy, but he ain't back. Hello, old friend. Ray Tax. It has been too long. He is deceiving you. Oh, yeah. Strong motherfucker he is. Oof, this is so bad. I knew it. There's no way it's that easy. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? If Tilk won't hear the truth from words, you must learn of it another way. Boy, and we got Braytag back. Braytag back with the attack. He don't have a, a Mac 10 because he's your friend. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta learn how to crack yourself up, fam. You know what I mean? You gotta learn how to learn how to uh, make yourself smile in, in times of uh, just shit, you know. I have learned to make myself a, laugh a lot lately. It's been great. <laughs> uh, and you know what's been great? Hanging out with you guys, bro, for real. Uh, you know, I say this all the time, bro. Uh, I guess the biggest fruits of my labor, I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. Like, the, the thing that keeps me going, my, my biggest treasure in reacting is you guys. Just some of the comments y'all leave behind, some of the, the words of encouragement, and just, just, yeah, man. They're, they're the reasons I mostly do this, because it ain't like I'm getting paid that much for it, you know, or at all. But this is, it's worth all that. On the meaning of the word say, you would have him remain this way? Loving a false god, spitting and cursing? I mean... The right of Mao Shari is the only way. What is that? The last right. Take him to the very threshold of death. So that's so called threshold. Shula, it is said that when a warrior is dying, the events that forge him wash over his mind like a great wave. His whole life passes before his eyes. We have, you've done this before. I don't think he has. Twice. In my 137 years. Twice, okay. So hey, bro. Twice. Neither Jafar had the strength to turn back from the precipice. But I am content they died free. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Would ask for... We're in a conundrum. Straight conundrum. I know I said it earlier, but thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This would have sucked if I had to watch this fucking 4 by 3 dude. I would have been pissed. Christopher Judge is a beastly motherfucker, bro. He's my motherfucker stack, bro. Like he's he is a strong human being. <laughs> Where is your god now, Tick? He will come. I don't think so, buddy. 
He's dead, bro. He killed by. I know we've been over this a few times, but in case you weren't listening, I am 100% sure. 99% sure. Yeah. to see you over here. Remember, Tilt! This is crazy. Your enemy is defeated. You have won the day. This man. In displaying great skill and cunning, these three close down at your name in battle. Tell me of this one. His name is Tilt, my lord. My apprentice. My lord, I speak only the truth. The battle could not have been won. Your father should have died trying. He was a coward. My lord, my father was not. Oh, fuck. Safe to return to it. At the moment, he's unconscious. All the better. All the better. It is this unconscious mind we must reach. Listen to the man. I think he has a plan. No ways are foreign to you. Trust in me. I, I trust you, bro. I do. Whatever you need. For us to just stand by while Tilt is in such obvious... Yeah, because yeah, they love you. They love him. Humans concern themselves. The greater torture would be to leave him as he is. Facts. I believe I believe him on that one, bro. The symbiote I carry within will mature within two years. It will be my last. The new symbiote would reject me. It is how old warriors die. Well, maybe we can find some way to help you. Life for the sake of life means nothing. Exactly, dude. Neither for me nor for two. Like if you, you, life would mean meaning if you didn't if it was in an end. 137 years is a long fucking time, bro. I'll go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. So, because I gotta tell you, as your best friend, at least in this whole wide world, that makes absolutely no yeah. sense. <laughs> He's a I mean, that would make you best friend, the brothers. most ineffective double agent in the history of double agenting. Bala. Bala Magulis. He is a god. If you fail that, by sparing even one of me is like those yours for the taking of you. No, this was not for a battle. But God will punish us some day for this part. Exactly. Oh, yes, but never question that again. Serve him well again tomorrow, and you may live to see another day. What a terrible life. Serving some dude. That's the reality is some people live like this. They used to. The world's a cruel place sometimes for some folks. A lot. He was killed. He failed his God. His God. You mean that scum sucking overdressed boombox voice snake in the <laughs> Latest on our long list of dead bad, bad guys. guys. 99% sure. Are you afraid to face me? <laughs> Damn, this is a nice little fucking good little look at Teal's past, man. Where are you? Out in the snow and shit, dog. Damn, You're he back. out in the snow. That's must be freezing cold, bro. In battle, you must use all your senses. My brother got some shoulders, bro. He's a strong looking man. Is he still this big? I gotta look at like some pictures. Mother was Kratos. <laughs> nah, Raytag got you by a fucking. So I fail. It's not this waste of time. Or will you learn? I wonder how cold that is. There are other parties you don't see. All powerful. He is a god. Is he? Uh... Fate will not save you. Line fate least of all. Damn, bro. Braytac already knew what was up, cuz. He knew. Rely on your own strength. And these are. Your own wits. 
this is you can use this in reality, fam. No like when you're out there and you're doing work and you're in battle or you're in kind of some kind of danger or you're dealing with any kind of confrontation, bro. Praying to God, yes, it makes you feel better, but at the end of the day, it ain't going to save you. Your assertion that you never left the service of Apophis is so completely illogical. You got to use this. No sense whatsoever. Do you not know the meaning of faith in the Jews? Yeah, but... Uh. I think I do. The niche of Apophis is a god. False god. Yeah. Dead. False, False god. god. <laughs> As I have. Explain how a wall of light can lose his palm, and for Rome, a warrior crosses where he is not a god. Why cannot? It's called technology. Love of two masters. What am I to do, Triad? They be changing his wife out a lot, but you know they all look good, bro. She looks fantastic. Come to bed. That's a no-brainer. Junior. How's Junior doing? <laughs> Symbiote is fine for now. Although I don't know what we're gonna do with her. It's against every part of me to just stand by and do nothing. That's why you're such an amazing I doctor, Doc. Doing nothing. She's an amazing doctor. And I got the hots for her, I'll be honest. Yeah. I just love how they're like all bending together to make sure he's okay. Because he's more than an asset, bro. He's he's a part of the fucking squad, and I love it. I guess the important thing is just to be there for each other. Yeah, that's all it's about at the end of the day, bro. Being there for each other, you know? For real. Literally. This isn't about you. Actually, I wonder about this. believe in freedom, Teal. You believe in justice. Yes. In protecting people from false gods. Uh, he's definitely like going through the Teal? crevices of his brain, picking up different memories. The battle did not go well. Ra's warriors went far greater than Ra, okay. Tell him I am no coward. If given the chance, I will yet prevail. I swear it. Go to our second quarters. Wait for me there. Done. Teal. His friend's gone. Maybe this is like his first steps in realizing that that was his homie. A promising warrior. Yet he has returned in disgrace. I would draw on one to return greater numbers to crush an overconfident enemy. You would have held your ground in the name of your god. Yes, my lord. Uh, there we go. Kills homie. So fucking terrible, dog. Damn, bro. Either you die in battle or you die out here. It's kind of a shit situation, right? Solace for what you are about to do, Tilk. I should have died on this battlefield. Tilk, man, back in the day, bro. He... No, he's not. How could you spare me? We shall see. Uh, maybe this is the test of proving he ain't a real guy. Hmm. He does wear a lot of fancy dresses, bro. It is done. You have promised to. And this obviously is gonna go to his head and he's gonna start realizing that this man is not a god. 
Because if he was a god, he would have known that he let his friend fucking live. Alright, I see what's happening. Good thing we're seeing this, bro. This is a great way of just realizing how Teal got to where he got. It's like he just flipped over a fucking night. There was a lot of things that went down. Damn, bro. Even... Sent to a high security facility and then placed in solitary confinement. Won't do that to him, Jack. <laughs> Dude, this is. I'm sorry, it's, it's hard not to get choked up and just seeing the like the love that that goes on through this whole whole entire group, bro, and how cohesive they are. Like at the end of the day, Hammond considers him his own. He's like, no, nah, I'm not gonna put him through that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Damn, bro, I love, that's why I fucking love this shit, bro. Ah, oh, dude, that, that scene on Michael Mahdi, just seeing, uh, Hammond is acting, uh, Donna C. Davies, that was beautiful. Cause you felt that, bro. And sisters, I'm sorry, I know there's girls watching with me here, too. Yes. Ah, oh, jeez, boy. Then sleep well in the knowledge that you have served the prophecy. Uh, no, he's starting to realize. I cannot close my eyes. It's called empathy, bro. I've seen the innocent faces of the little children who live there, which their father did also. A warrior named Valar. What? No. I banished him from the village to save his life. Or would you take it away from fear that a prophecy would learn my secret? I put my own life before that of an entire village. I did have a choice. Damn. You must ensure that he has a father. Whoo, boy. Our son will be born into a real home. It is the best life we can hope for. Then why am I so ashamed? Because you know the truth. Damn, bro. That is so frightening. He took out a whole... And this... Is how the change happened. Apophis has made you his first bride. You know as well as I what the Goa'u truly are. We pretend men like you and I, so we may advance in rank and privilege. I saw the spark of doubt in you. That's why. And the wisdom to keep that doubt into yourself. But neither can they live without the Jaffa. We are their true power. When Apophis throws his armies into the fire, you temper his sword. In so doing, you may save countless lives as I have done in my time. And you have done all these things against his will. His will can be made to bend. I have done deeds for which I cannot forgive even myself. Yeah, I think everybody did. As would you. Here we go! Oh wow, they look so young. Nah, bro. Perhaps so. Pray they are not chosen as hosts. That is the best fate you can wish for. This is where he fucking does it, dude. This was needed. I, I'm so glad. Steve Fib, get the car. I will return it immediately. Stand aside, for his suffering will have been for nothing. Listen to the man. This is going against everything she's for, bro. I get it, though, bro. But this might, this is it. Die in the name of a false god. Truth. He does. He chose, man. This is so good. I mean, he has plot armor. Let's just be real. It's going to work out. I know it is, but... Very well. We waited too long. Charge to 200. Charging. Clear. A little bit of human technology to help. Oh, dude, this is so badass when he did this shit. And he does. Help me. <laughs> this is what I do it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's our boy. It's our boy. 
It's our boy. Oh. Guys, that was wow. That was so good. That was so good. He has returned to us. I feel about Bob's all scarred. <laughs> A death all scarred. <laughs> Look at that smile, boys and girls. Look at that smile. Thank you. This is good. This is some good stuff, dude, for real. Tex Mate. You don't have it. I don't know why I got so choked up. permission to return to SG-1. Permission granted. God, I love his crew. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that was uh, a fantastic episode, my friends. Very well done. Good stuff. Let me pause it real quick. Talk. Oh, God, that shit was so good. Oh, 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 that shit was really good, man. It was... <laughs> so, I got a little bit choked up back there, man. I just love seeing happy shit like that happen. And it just kind of... Like, you feel it through your body. You're just like, ah. It's a crazy uh, endorphin rush. I don't know what you want to call it. Dopamine. I don't know. Whatever. It's just a crazy rush to your body and you just feel great, right? It's just, it's sick. I can imagine how some of y'all felt when you guys watched it the first time. Um, I really loved seeing the the past of Teal because... It wasn't, like I said earlier, it wasn't, like, overnight. He was all of a sudden, like, no, I'm going to join fucking O'Neal and them. This was, it took time. A lot of things went down, you know? Um, he, he, he was tested. He had to kill his friend, Valar, and he had to, you know, he, a lot of people were hurt in the situ in, in all this, you know? And I love what uh, Braytech had to say. He's like, hey, you know, we both know what this is about. We both know that he's not a false god. But we have no choice. The only choice we have right now is to do with what we got and protect as many lives as we can by being as close as we can to him to kind of like temper him down. Uh, you know, that's a very, very hard, tough pill to swallow. But they had to do it for what, you know, just, just for everybody. They had to. It wasn't like something they wanted to do. It was something that they had to do. And I'm glad that it all worked out. I'm glad that freedom is in his eyes. Uh... And I really do hope that the 99% sh actually not really, bro. I still, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'll be straight. I, I really do hope that Pop is still alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> that point one percent. That that one percent. I kind of hope he's still alive because I'm, dude. He is a fun villain to have in the show <laughs> to be a part of because it's like, first of all, he's it, just his outfits are just fucking extravagant as hell, and it, it's hilarious. The actor who plays him. Does such a good job of just playing that cunning, like, god, Egyptian god-like character. It's just, it just would be kind of sad to see him go, because I do want to see more of it. And if he somehow managed to survive, like, holy shit. How many lives does this man have? Or alien, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's just, like, constant, you know? Um, but Christopher Judge, just fantastic. Uh, acting chops, uh, just... First of all, physique, my God, the guy's physique is ridiculous. Um, Don S. Davies, uh, uh, you know, what do you, uh, 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 General Hammond. Uh, I loved, you know, just, just the way he acted this episode and the way he, how, you know, it just shows how much he cares, you know? And, like, I just love how, the, I just love how they really came around to Teal and they care about him. Because, you know, in, in, in our society, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but, like, sometimes I feel like, you know, if this was, like, in our world, like, Teal probably wouldn't be getting this much love. You know, it would it would definitely be, like, all right, he's gone, he's gone kind of a situation. You know, they're going to think about logic more than, like, actual care and empathy and all that craziness. So, you know, I'm not saying the show's, I mean, the show's definitely a fairy tale kind of a situation, but it's, it's a good fairy tale to have. And, and who knows? You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm being a fucking pessimist and shit. But it was just really good to see, like, all of SG just listen and, and, and do what they can to bring him back. 
it was so hard for Doc Fraser, I can just tell, to not want to go the other route and to not want to like save him and not and not listen to Braytac and them. But she did it, you know. She listened. Uh, I will say a little bit of human technology towards the end of it with the shocking and the EpiPen. Def helped out with uh, him regaining to the back to the way he was. And yeah, man, fantastic episode, guys. Season five is is fucking kicking ass back here, and I'm ready for the fucking ride. Let's go. I feel like I'm ha- like I said, I'm halfway through this bitch. It's been fun. It's been exciting. It's uh, dude. I, you know, I, I'm even gonna go on to say this show's been kind of life changing for me in a way too. You know, cause you know, I'm I'm I've been a TV watcher for a very long time, and I miss some of the old stuff. I do, and it feels good to kind of go back and see some of the old stuff and see things stand through the test of time. Like, this is a show that I've been told about uh, from a lot of. Big science, you know, sci- uh, sci-fi nerds, you know, uh, family. I've seen these uh, this show on the shelves of uh, different video stores, getting a lot of love. And, you know, it's one of those things that I would have never, I think, sat down and watched until y'all came along and made that vote happen. Even though this lost the vote and, uh, what was it again, Battlestar Galactica actually won. But I'm glad I made the decision I made with this, you know. I really am. It's been an amazing ride. Fuck yeah, it's been an amazing ride. And I'm so excited to continue the ride with all of you guys, you know? Uh, that's it for this episode. On to the next one, guys. I appreciate and love all of you, you know? I hope you guys are out there taking care of yourself, taking care of your families, taking care about, you know, the people that really matter to you the most and just trying to live great lives. You know, sometimes, fam, things suck, but it's good to sometimes embrace the suck, you know, and just take it for what it is and, and tell yourself, this will get better. This too shall pass. Things are going to be amazing. All right. Uh, see you on the next one, fam. Peace.